Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com, and it is Saturday, May the 7th, 2021, the first Saturday in May. So here with your Kentucky Derby picks for this year's Run for the Roses. Of course, here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. I do free picks every day at sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com, right here on YouTube as well as across social media. When you give as many free picks as, as we do, well, you're going to like some more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as get best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. But let's get to this year's run for the roses, the Kentucky Derby. And I'm excited. I love horse racing. I tell you, I love going to Churchill Downs myself and taking in the races but uh, this year not going to be there maybe next year I'll go there with, with, with some of you guys but anyways my first pick of this year's derby I'm gonna go with the one horse Mo Donegal I think this horse can overcome that one spot the one is a horrible place to be for the Kentucky Derby but if you're a horse like Mo Donegal that really doesn't it really isn't gonna affect him much he can stalk and come off the pace and the thing I like about this horse he's beaten a lot of horses in these in this field including the favorite in, in this in Donnie beat him. He beat him by in the Remsen. So I think Mo Donegal has what it takes. He's got the pedigree. We bet on his father. So, you know, he, he won us some money. So we will take Mo Donegal as one of our three Derby choices. Our second choice in the Derby is going to be Epicenter. To me, I think this probably is the horse to beat. I like our other two horses. I think we box it. We're going to be boxing them all together. Trifecta and Exacta. But the thing is, is that Epicenter, this horse is a beast. <laughs> He's a head away from being undefeated coming into this race. He is that good. And I mean, when you sometimes you see these horses on the track, you're just like, whoa, that one looks like a champion. That is Epicenter. I got to say that Epicenter, for me, is likely the horse to beat in this race. A little short price for what we generally like to go for, but I think there's nowhere else to go in this thing. I think Epicenter, if it's not one of our other two horses, that's who it will be, will be the winner of this Kentucky Derby. The third choice for the Derby is uh, going to be Messier and not for the cool name, you know, named after the hockey player and all that kind of good stuff. And of course, we got Puck and Crazy with Joe Mad and all kinds of hockey stuff going on at our websites. But Messier is written by John Velasquez. This guy's been around the block. Three Derbies is up to his credit already and certainly has a live, live shot with this one. Messier's running six races, three wins, three seconds. So to have him in our exact and trifecta boxes, man, and he's a horse that loves to come in the money and we love horses that love to come in the money. John Velasquez, like I said, he won the Robert B. Lewis by 15 lengths, so this horse can certainly take over and dominate. Not afraid to run out there by himself. Eh, I, like, I like our chances with Messier to at least finish in the money, if not win the whole thing. So our three horses for this year's Kentucky Derby, and we're going to box them up, is going to be Mo Donegal, Epicenter, and Messier, I would say we throw a little bit on, on Epicenter. I know all these horses win place and show as well, but I'm going to box them in a exacta and trifecta. Anyways, of course, while you're doing all your other sports bets today, be sure to check out our free betting tools over our websites, sportschatplace.com and pickdogs.com. We've got the best betting tools on the planet. These things are 100% free. They take all different types of sports. And they show you how often all these different variety of bets come in, sides, totals, player props, you name it. Takes the human element out of it. They show you how often they come in. And then from there, they also show you what the today's current odds are. And from there, you can determine if there's value or not. Just click on the link in the description to find out for yourself.